Hey guys, Scott Reekers here with Eastman's Hunting Journals and today I am here to do a review of two different pillows that you can use in the backcountry to have comfortable sleep. So I'm going to talk about these two different pillows, but I'm going to talk about them not from a which is better review, but I'm going to talk about them from a standpoint of which pillow would I use for what. You guys are seeing a very different size. Now I'm gonna back this up and I'm going to share a little bit of a change that's happened um, later into my 30s that I get because you age, okay? You, things change a little bit and you want a little more comfort or sometimes you just don't want to have to pack as much weight. So one of the things that's happened with me in recent years is that I have gone from 90% backpack hunting to probably about 50-50 backpack or hunting with stock of some kind. Now, I'll be brutally honest, I'm not a horseman, but I have uh, several friends who are um, close friends who I hunt with now regularly that we are using horses on a regular basis. And with horses, you get to get away with a little bit more weight or maybe even the same weight, but bulkier items. And so I'm looking at it from perspective of if I'm going to bring a little bit more comfort in with me, I'm going to take this climate. As you can see that the climate drift pillow is a bit bigger than the Sea to Summit Eros. Um, it also weighs a little bit more, not, not drastically more, but a little bit more. But the type of hunt that I would use this particular pillow on versus this particular pillow is just an option that I think you should consider. Now, some of you are saying, well, if I backpack hunt, I'll just use my puffy jacket. Well, that's fine but I like actually having the actual square because a lot of times when you, you take that puffy jacket and you lay it there, it'll squish up on you, not with the sea to summit or with the climate because what's going to happen is both are actually designed to be pillows. When you use a product that is not or do it to do something that it is not designed for, it does not do it well. And so that's the problem with using a down puffy jacket or a down puffy pants as your pillow is that number one, you're gonna squish it all up and you're not actually going to get the what you're actually looking for in a pillow. So that's why I'll, I'll take a little bit of this along with me. There are certain creature comforts that make you more comfortable. It allows you to last the entire time that you're there um, because if you're uncomfortable, if you're not sleeping well, you're gonna to wanna to leave. So let's start with a few of the features of the climate and why, what and why I would use it for. So the first thing is, you can see that this is called a drift pillow. So the concept and idea is that this would be something that you could use on a drift hunt. So you notice this outer shell um, is going to shed water. It's going to be something that keeps it clean. Um, and you can use it with this. So if you're in a wet environment where there's gonna be a lot of frost and things like that, or potential dripping, because guys, let's have it. Let's just be honest here. There's condensation inside tents. That does happen. You will get dripped on some. So you can do that. But one of my favorite features of this is I can protect it on the horse ride in with this hard, rough outer shell. And then I can take it and we'll give you some close up video here of this. You can see that I can pull this and now I have a soft pillow. Now one of the other things I like about this for a hunt where I'm either with llamas or going with friends who have horses, um, one of the best parts of this pillow is that it provides the comfort and some actual size to it. Now, why wouldn't I bring a regular pillow? Well, this is just small enough where it actually still does save me a little bit of space, okay? But it also compresses down a lot more than a normal pillow. So you can stick this at the bottom of a dry bag. Usually I bring a dry bag with my entire sleep system, my sleep pad, this as well as the sleeping bag. So you can compress that. <clears throat> So this is, this is composed of cut up memory foam. So you can see that when it, when it expands, you actually get some space on there. You get a good combination of support as well as soft. Like I don't like sleeping on bricks. I mean, if I did that, I'd just grab a rock and sleep on it when I'm in the back country. Um, but I'm betting you don't like sleeping on a rock either. So those are the primary features of the climate drift pillow. And so I would, Take a hard look at that if that's the type of hunting that you do. Now the Sea to Summit has some cool features. Number one is how light it is. So look in the lower third, you can see the weight and the specs right there. And so you can see that this thing has also back here a nice nifty way to inflate and deflate. So I'm just gonna quick deflate this here and you can quick get rid of it. 
and you can see that that's deflated. This is how small it gets. Stick that in the bottom of a dry bag. It really weighs nothing, so it's, it's a great thing to have along. Plus, there's an insulation factor there because you've got <clears throat> inside this Aeros down pillow, you have got down inside there. So the down is going to offer the insulation that you want. But now here's a, here's a cool thing to, to look at. Pop that open and you can see there's a little inflate tab right there. So we'll pull it up. And that inflate holds it in. Pop that back down, you got your pillow aired up. Two breaths is all it took me. So probably three at 10,000 feet, just because you know that works. So one of the things you know is this is a slick table. I am rocking the table a little bit. So this is a slick table, so you can see that I'm actually having to work hard to drag this because this material here will grab it, just like it'll grab your sleeping pad. I know one of the biggest annoyances that's out there when it comes to pillows is that it's a struggle to keep them on your sleeping pad. Most sleeping pads are made of slick material because it's lighter or because there's an R value reasoning for why they made it with that particular material. And so this is just one that um, one feature that will help you. The top is soft and it will be comfortable to lay your face on. So guys, if you are interested in either of these pillows, we've included links down below in the description, um, in the description of the blog or on YouTube. So make sure you have subscribed to Eastman's Hunting Journal's YouTube channel for more reviews like this. And we'll be sure to bring you lots of great equipment and all the gear that you need to make your backcountry hunt more comfortable.